Let's talk about destructive interference and how it works with a QRM eliminator. Now, uh, amateur radio, they have these, these Q codes or signals, and just like the police or um, uh, sheriff's department has uh, 10 codes, so 1020 is your location. Uh, same with amateur radio, they just have these, these Q codes, and QRM is, uh, stands for, you know, is my transmission being interfered with, or my transmission is being interfered with, and QRM stands for human-made noise or, or man-made noise. And then QRN uh, is, you know, are there are the atmospheric strong? Is just is there natural noise out there? You know, but they're both noise, and we want to eliminate that noise. Okay, so we're going to use this QRM eliminator to get rid of this background noise here. Now, destructive interference occurs when you have uh, the same amplitude. Uh, here it is here, and they're in opposite directions. So, so say if this is a one volt peak here. This is minus one volt here that cancels out, and this is minus here and one volt here. So these it cancels out all along there, and you just get you get nothing there. You get a straight line, uh, no signal at all coming through. Okay, and this works with uh, sound waves. It works with water waves. It works with electromagnetic waves. You know, so that's destructive interference. And what we're going to do is here's a here's a QRM eliminator here. It's got three knobs on there. It's got a phase knob and gain one and gain two. So what we want to do is we want to take that, uh, there, and there's three anten or two antennas back here. There's your main antenna, you've got a transmitter, and an auxiliary antenna. Now, we want to eliminate the noise on the main antenna, okay? Now, it's usually tuned for the frequency you're, you're trying to get in. So say a 40-meter antenna, it's about 7 megahertz. And then maybe your noise is at, say, 150 megahertz or so. So uh, your auxiliary antenna should, you know, be tuned for that or be different than the main antenna anyway. So we're going to take the, these two noises, the noise on both of these antennas, and we're going to shift the one on, the, uh, on this uh, auxiliary antenna by 180 degrees. So they call that pi shifting. When you shift at 180 pi, there's, you know, two pi radians in a circle. So... Pi shifted just means it's going to be shifted 180 degrees. And then we're going to combine that uh, that uh, signal with the one coming out of the main antenna. And that's going to cancel out and uh, get rid of our noise for us, hopefully. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, we're going to take a look at the uh, what's inside this, this box here, okay? So there's a lot of videos how to use it, how to adjust it and everything. But uh, we're going to take a look inside and see what's what's actually going on here. So we, starting here with our 12 volt uh, DC source here. Now usually it's 13.8 volts and it comes over to a, a, an LED here. This one doesn't have an LED on there. And then a couple uh, capacitors and a, a, a coil here. This is going to be a filter, get any RF out of the, uh, coming out of our DC power supply there. And then it goes over to a couple, a couple um, relays over here. Now, uh, when this thing's off, these relays are off and these switches are in this position and so in this position the, the antenna is hooked directly to the to the transceiver and vice versa going right down nothing nothing here is is going to be affected okay and they also have they also ground the output of these two uh, 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 JFETs in case there's any stray uh, RF in here you're, you're gonna be, between here and here you're putting you know maybe 100 watts through there so we're going to ground that and when this thing's off and also we're going to ground the auxiliary antenna because we don't want any feedback coming in through that that antenna either so this unit is is only good for for listening you cannot transmit through this so what happens when you turn this on these two relays come on through this 50k resistor right here and these two relays are on and these switch switch over to here this one switches back to this uh, this line here and it, it, it takes this to ground here and it it opens up your antenna here so uh, that's how you can listen now if you want to transmit you either have to turn the switch off or you can push this uh, ptt a push to talk button what this does it takes this the base of this trans uh, former uh, trans transistor to ground and it turns off the two relays here puts it back into this mode here with these switches in this side here okay so let's start here at the the main antenna and say this the unit's on 
So it's going to come down through here. Now it's going to go past these uh, these diodes here, and what these are these are protection diodes, both of these here. So uh, these have a forward voltage drop of about uh, 0.6 volts, and so uh, two of them together will be uh, 1.2 volts. So anything below 1.2 volts will just go straight through. Anything above that is going to short out to ground. So uh, you know you don't want to put too much voltage into these these JFETs here. So this is just protection for the for the circuit here. So we're going to go over to our, our JFET here, and this this is just like a little uh, preamp on your your antenna here. And forget all this stuff on this side; it's just going to come right up here. Here's our power in here, and then we have a capacitor here to get rid of the DC, and that goes back out to your your transmitter here. So you can hear the the uh, uh, signal there. So now over here is where all the magic happens. Okay, we have this antenna up here. It's got a um, some noise on it. Same noise as over here. Now we go through this trans transformer here, and then this is our this is going to be our phase shifting knob here, and then this is going to be a gain knob here. Okay, so what we do here is we uh, this is going to be able to uh, adjust the phase, so say from zero to 180 degrees, and so any signal over here coming through this one. And the signal coming through this one are going to be 180 degrees out of phase and the noise part of it and then these tie together and go to the transmitter so hopefully it's going to eliminate the noise okay so here it is here i, I redid just this part of the circuit here and uh, this uh, this gets a little complicated here but just a simple way to do uh you know to change the phase angle is just to have a capacitor and a resistor and you put your input here and come out here this is this was 100 picofarad and this was 10 ohms here you can just do the uh, do the math here we find the capacitive reactance over the resistance and you take the arc tangent of that and that gives us our, our angle okay so in this case it would be uh, 88 degrees now uh, what I've done in the past is uh, you, if you put another one of these next to it you get to about 120 degrees and one more you get to 180 degrees okay but they're doing it this way here they have an inductor in there and then uh, two capacitors across here and this is a gain into your uh, JFET here and then it goes through a, a one mega ohm resistor to ground here so this this circuit works good it's going to um, take our signal and phase shift it 180 degrees and uh, and that's called a, a, a pi shifted uh, at 180 you know 2 pi radians is all the way uh, 360 degrees so it's pi shifted or shifted 180 degrees so what I did is I I just took that this part of the circuit and I I made up my own little uh, unit here okay so I've got our, our coil here and I've got a couple capacitors and then our, our 1 mega ohm resistor right here this one here and I don't have the, the JFET in or anything. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this over to the uh, oscilloscope. And we're going to see if uh, we can, how this phase shifting works, okay? So we're going to try to shift the phase of this uh, thing. We can adjust it, just the phase shifting over in any spot we want and try to get, eliminate the noise, okay? So uh, we'll go over to the scope and uh, we'll see if this thing actually works. Okay, here we are at the scope. And we have uh, two sine waves in phase with it, each other. And we're going to see if this little circuit will, uh, can put these things uh, you know, 180 degrees out of phase. So as you control the two, uh, two knobs, one's gain and one's uh, um, amplitude, but uh, they both uh, affect the amplitude. That, that, looks, uh, that looks pretty good. Looks like uh, they're fairly close in phase there, and uh, that might be better. And uh, it looks like it'll uh, it'll cancel out. Now we'll take a look at it in the uh, X Y mode. Okay, so here it is here. Now that should be a closed line right there. Let's we'll see if I can get any any better there in this mode. Okay, that that looks better. Let's we'll see what that looks like. Okay, so that's uh, it makes it a little easier to uh, get it in phase with that uh, with the in the XY mode, and then uh, we'll go back to this one. Oh, in fact, here let's just do this. Let's 
Let's go here and in XY mode we'll see if we can get it to uh, put it back in XY mode and we're going to see if we can get it to uh, 90 degrees. Now 90 degrees should be a, a circle. That's probably as close as I can get. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it looks pretty close to 90. So um, anyway, the uh, the circuit works good, and so I can go from uh, you know uh, zero to uh, you know 180 degrees, and uh, put it back in the XY mode, and get it back to um, 180 degrees. This should be zero degrees here. Okay which uh, which it is which is uh, you know and then if I get it to go the other direction I can get it back to uh, <coughs> there we go that should be 180 yeah close that looks good so that's uh, this this little um, circuit they have in there it works good to uh, you know uh, phase shifted 180 degrees or we call it pie shifting and uh, yeah it works good so um, thank you. I can use this little uh, project for, uh, for other things too. So uh, very good. Thank you.